mainline cars and coffee. All of our friends work at JP Morgan. These are all our starter cars. I'm on my way right now to mainline cars and coffee down in the greater Philly area. I am leaking the following fluids. Oil, transmission, power steering, rear diff. I'm not leaking radiator fluid though. So all those oil-based fluids, uh, you know, you just fill them back up again. Check my oil before I left. I have right up to the top of oil. So uh, if I need to add more, I'm just gonna put any old oil in this thing. As far as transmission fluid, takes uh, ATF type BEF. If I run low on that, uh, you know, I should really stop at like an advanced auto or something and pick some of that up. Other than that, transmission's got all, all three gears plus reverse. And we'll see how we go. This is going to be the longest I've ever driven the Galaxy apart from when I drove it home. As somebody's mom dropped them off here. I don't have anything mean to say about an original SL. It's just pure simplicity and a small car that's luxurious. Great. I tell people it's the car from Tomorrow Never Dies. I love Stingrays, but what's the point of putting something over the air cleaner? Like, what exactly are you protecting? Okay, it's a 365, it's a non-displacement engine, but is your engine that delicate? It's a freaking Chevy small block. And power this thing with lawnmower gas, it's not gonna care. We all own titty bars outside of Lancaster. No, somebody over there started their engine. Let's hear the engine. Let's all take video pictures of the engine. My engine, my engine. Here my come, here come my followers for my engine, my engine noise. Here we go. Everybody get your phones out. All oh, this one guy has his fingers in his ears. Here comes the engine noise. Here it comes. Here comes the rev. I can't wait for the rev. Come on, give me the rev. Rev, 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 rev at cars and coffee. Is it gonna come? Is it gonna come? Rev, rev, rev. Oh, I'm leaving. Okay, I'm gonna go about two feet by. It's like, okay, first year Mustang, but the embroidery on the seats right here, that was a very hot, oh wait, there's a center console that shouldn't be there. So, okay, is this embroidery, is that period to the, no, these seats have no weathering on them. They've been redone. Moving on. Oh, Lamborghini, I'm expensive. Take pictures of the expensive. Here comes the expensive. Oh, it's got a scoop on the roof, therefore expensive. As you can see, I'm the king of Philadelphia. We got some copyrighted music coming out of the Dodge Ram. People really like that I'm playing music on a Bluetooth speaker at the car show. I'm really adding to the ambiance. I'll be remembered for this in all of time. Okay, here's a Lucid. I will eventually get my hands on one of these things. It's my first time seeing one up close. You got cameras everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, on the new Beamers, you can... Everybody, look at my drone. I have a drone. I came to the car show with my drone. Everybody's gonna watch my drone footage. <laughs> what a dick. Okay, they're going for a minimalist design here. Do you have a, a shifter? Okay, so it's early Tesla with the shifter there. I'll reserve my judgments until I drive it, but if those are air conditioning seats, they already got a point from me. But we have a pass-through door handle that some people are gonna put stuff in, it's gonna fall down below. They should have like a ski ball little thing under there, so when you accidentally drop stuff through your door, maybe you uh, win a washer and dryer. Okay, Harley Davidson, you almost got it in between the lines. Handlebar, uh, you had all that space. Still couldn't get it in between the lines. Interesting. This implies you were crowned, which means you were royalty. You were a nice person, or at least viewed uh, as regal in the eyes of the community, and then something happened. Well, you tinted your windshield, that's, that's probably it. As you can see from my Joker-themed car, I do not take life seriously. And neither do I take uh, running into curbs. Curb these wheels pretty nice and then moved them to the outside. I could have afforded a Ferrari. I could have. Really. I could have. I could have. This is better. 
I love this generation of the Supra because this is when the Toyota Celica and the Supra were the same car before they branched off into two different trim levels. Awesome. Also, like the late 80s is where the 70s were still sticking around. So, you know, the brown on brown. Oh man, beautiful. It may be an infinity, but it still has big ultimate energy. I always look as, as I always look at the shoe box, no, excuse me, the, the tiny shoe as the counterpoint to the fourth gen Supra of the crazy designs, even though this is what, two, or is this 90s? Crap, I can't remember. Oh, it's 10 a.m. We've been up since six. Everybody gotta leave, everybody gotta leave. We need to go get breakfast reservations at the $20 egg store. Oh, Corvette guy, it's the Corvette guy. I bought the big, exp wait, that's a C7. Is it? Or is that a C8? I can't a tell. A There's a guy with a V8 shirt standing in front of it holding. 1990. You got popping and crackles. Is he gonna rev it again? Everybody, I'm gonna show you what my ECU can do. I'm gonna ECU, I'm gonna find my rev limiter for you. Everybody, here's my rev limiter. Mercedes, and what I do I see right here? I'll thank you for showing me the printout from your dyno chart. A better spot opened up. I gotta go move the Galaxy. So, yeah, I'm out of power steering fluid. Look at that. Not Corvette going by. So, you can see me, every time I crank the wheel really hard, it pours power steering fluid out of it. We added more in, and then it all just dumped out right there. So, we have a hose here that's coming loose. I mean, it's been coming loose, but now it's really coming loose. So this is the last time she's gonna run until I'm just gonna put her back into storage until the end of August. And then uh, it'll go to Bruce and get all fixed because uh, it doesn't really hurt it, car when you drive around with no power steering food. I mean, you're fucking your pump up, but uh, you know, this is an old Ford pump. You can get a million of those, but I'm not gonna keep driving this just for clout. So this, ride down to uh, mainline cars and coffee has been a a good shakedown ride for the galaxy oh my god put my antenna up it only goes on it, there's no slow okay Spike Ferris in here? Oh, I heard rev. Is there a rev off? Is it the Mustang with the full-size American flag coming out the back? Or is it this BMW guy? Oh, everybody's out there with their phones, hoping they see a wreck. One popping down there. I see some smoke. That guy fist pumping a little bit. Oh, here comes Mom Mobile again, leaving with all the invoices from the nail salon business. Bye. Hmm, Alpha, respect. I don't have any jokes. It's cool. And by Alpha? No, wait. Duh, that's not an Alpha. What's wrong with me? Or was it? Oh, look, it's the real crazy taxi that I should have had. Man. But he's not leaking. But Craigers, Craigers, dude, Craigers, Craigers on a Cadillac. Original ornate hubcaps weren't good enough for you. I still like it though. You know it. Bottom out over a pop tart. Clean. I have no, I have no jokes for you. Awesome. I got the third eye. I got the third eye blind. Sorry. That's a terrible, terrible joke. Hey, there's a familiar face. Hey! Back in the high life again. All the doors that are open on time will open up again. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, do the exact same thing. 
Yes! You three, third time to charm. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. I've never seen a kind of beige, beige brown Ferrari before. Never seen that color before. If it were to be brighter, it would have been a little bit too, uh, oh wait, his license plate said revenge. That better be a reference to the Revenge Society from Venture Brothers. Ooh, 1M. Ooh, a completely stock Scion FRS GR86. Just stock, as it was. I wonder on a, if a long enough timeline, those will be nice. I wonder if a long enough timeline, the GR86 will become like the NA Miata. Like, find one that's unmodified. And by that, I also mean like a 240SX. Awesome. Awesome. You know, I think they look better without the boat tail. I never noticed how much of the car was behind the car. Pantera. Awesome. Out of all the sort of American-ish exotics, I think that's my favorite. Ooh! Combination of Italian styling and uh, American muscle. Although American muscle is really a misnomer, right? I took my sensible Kia and made it barely drivable. <laughs> you can hear the wheels. <laughs> I'm Dennis Gage. Welcome back to my classic car. 